groups and uh, in the recent years there have been reports about diverse difficulties political parties are facing in respect of financing. But while this may not only uh, be the spark that has lit the debate on political party financing, it has done much to break Uganda's young and still fragile multi party dispensation. This has a raising question as to whether political parties should consider engaging in uh, business to finance their activities, something that some party leaders say would reduce political corruption and mistrust amongst political party members. The organization and day-to-day -day functioning of a political party and its participation in elections have been recognized as activities that require sufficient financial resources. But unfortunately, most of the 27 registered political parties in Uganda have no reliable sources of funding to finance their grassroots activities. Given the struggles, some political actors believe that for political parties to be able to build inclusiveness, it's high time they engage in business. Just like what the Uganda People's Congress founding president, Apollo Milton Obote, had done when he started the Obote Foundation, a business wing of the party in the 60s. There were organs within the Milton Obote Foundation which supported the delivery of exercise books. There are those which supported the issue of uh, school furniture, like desks and the like. There have a fears that political parties could be distracted from their original mission that is primarily political other than economics. If you think about, for instance, how let's say companies do business, so you'll find a, a company uh, running several other subsidiary entities. And how do they do it? By ensuring their systems. Based on their ideologies, political parties could invest in any of the preferred businesses like legal services, governance consultancy, real estate and logistical supplies. With fears that their likelihood of the sitting government suffocating business run by political rivals, party leaders believe it would be wrong. We need to be agreeable on one thing that the children of Uganda deserve like quality education. The citizens of Uganda deserve great, decent health care. Now anyone or any entity which is helping delivering on that one, we should be celebrating and not um, fearing. According to the Political Parties and Organization Act 2005, regulates the financing and functioning of political parties. Lawyers say the law is silent on political parties doing business. Both the Constitution and the Political Parties and Organizations Act, uh, they don't seem to expressly prohibit political parties from doing business. Currently, most political parties are relying on deduction of money from membership fees, members of parliament, which remains a benefit to those with many members of parliament. Now, unlike other political parties, the ruling NRM National Resistance Movement says while there has been an attempt, but the idea was put on hold pending thorough study. The NRM Director of Communications at the Secretariat, Emmanuel Dombo, says they are not about to engage in business. Here's why. There has been an attempt in the past under the National Resistance Movement system to indulge and engage into business but i think the outcome was not very good and this led the leadership to suspend that exercise until a thorough study is done to find out whether it is feasible and whether it can be run parallel to other businesses in the government and in the private sector without having any bias. So that is something that uh, is not about to be done in the National Resistance Movement. The chairman also guided that it would be good a thorough study to be undertaken from within the country, within the region, and within other fraternal parties in the world to find out how they have been able to run their business activities together with the political activities.
And uh, Macau University Senior Economist Dr. Fred Muhumza says uh, that political parties in Uganda are ready in business, giving the example of the Uganda People's Conference, uh, Congress, I beg your pardon, renting premises and other parties selling T-shirts and other material. To Dr. Muhumza, parties engaging in business will boost the economy and reduce political corruption. Parties need regular uh, sources of income and they think that's partly why we see Uganda House which is Milton Obote Foundation, UPC built, and raised resources to support their activities. You also, we had a discussion with the discussions within the NRM. They wanted, I think, to build a 27-floor uh, structure. So parties have possibly delayed to get into this venture, and they, they have been struggling. They may have had reasons. We don't want to say they possibly haven't thought about it or they haven't even tried and been failed by other reasons. But rightly, as you have said, they needed to find businesses and diversified sources of income. So such a structure would actually save the temptation to encroach on public resources. It would give them the credibility to even be accountable to the population. Because like in America, as you know, they have caveats on here and there. But at least they allow people to go and fundraise. What they may want to limit is how much can you raise from a single individual, because that individual may hold a uh, person captive. Those guidelines can be put there. But I think that's the way to go for parties in Uganda if they are to have fair ground for competition and survival and to do their own work.